Welcome to Mark Reed 757. This is week 21 weigh-in. Last week, I didn't do so hot. Well, you know, I gained two pounds from the previous week, and last week I weighed in around, uh, I don't know, 341 or so. Anyway, I did the math for a while. And before I get into where I weighed, I'll put that in shortly, I wanted to talk a little bit about intermittent fasting. Uh, I've been intermittent fasting, and I've ate good food, and I've ate bad food. Well, this week, I really focused on eating good food. However, after I did my weigh-in, I did eat some bad food, and I, I'm still doing the intermittent fasting, but I find it very, very difficult after eating the bad food. And when I was eating the good food, it was very easy. You know, it's almost like that's what my body wanted. Anyway... Here's the weekend. I mean, here's the weigh-in. The weekend. We're in the weekend. The weigh-in. I'm at 336.8. That means I lost 4.5 pounds from last week's weigh-in. That's awesome. It just goes to prove, like, I didn't even really try real hard. I just changed a couple things, and I was able to do this. I didn't starve myself at all. You know, there was other weeks where I've had pretty big losses and I actually starved my, like, you know, didn't eat for a day or didn't eat for two days or, you know, really, really ate very minimal. Well, this time, I, I mean, every single day I, I probably had two to three thousand calories, but I eat it all at once. And that's what I do with the intermittent fasting. I eat it all within like a, about a four hour period. And it's just amazing, you know, when I weigh in in the morning, it'll say, you know, one weight. And then right after I eat, it'll say like four to five pounds heavier because I drank water, ate, all that other stuff. And then towards the end of the day, because I already ate my food by around noon to one, somewhere around there. By the end of the day, it's where I lost out of that four to five, let's say I put on five pounds, I would have lost like probably three three of that five pounds. And then by the next morning, usually I lose like three or four more, something like that. And then it just depends how much I eat and drink, you know, because a lot of it's the water weight, but some of it has to be the fat. Um, I also like going disc golfing. So I'll disc golf throughout the week. Like I went Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I helped uh, people at our local course, so that was a pretty good workout for me. And then Thursday, I I didn't do anything. But anyway, this concludes this week's weigh-in, and I'm super stoked that I got 4.5 pounds down. But let me see if I can't do that again—a repeat performance because last week it's not good. Oh, by the way, I got to keep my $200. <laughs> That's probably why uh, I started off the day bad because the boss said, well, you know, I'm, I'm going to buy breakfast. And we had country fried steak. Uh, it was amazing. It tasted great, but I'm still feeling it a little bit. Uh, although it, it'll pass, you know, I'll have a better time. Also, a little bit of an update on the AFib situation. Since I've been off of the medication the doctor said after my heart rate went so low I'm off the medication that was making it real low and I feel a lot better now I've been staying away from caffeine and I think I need to start staying away from grease you know any kind of fried food so I'm gonna work on that next week you know I cut out the caffeine now I gotta cut out the fried foods completely and I think I'll be well on my way because I, I really could have ate a little better this week. And that's what I mean. I lost 4.5 pounds and I did not eat perfect. So let me try to get a little closer to perfection and see what that does for me. Anyway, see you on the YouTube collab for on Tuesday. Have a good one.